everybody, I'm Elise Explosion and I am here with you today for a blind box unboxing. I know, I know, I know I have not done any of these in a really long time. And I think it's mostly because I haven't really found anything that's caught my fancy. Uh, I've really enjoyed a lot of like the Zuru 5 surprises. Uh, I just saw the Zuru Foodie 5 surprises, which is basically just like fast food. And my God, do I want the Sonic Chili Cheese Dog? But those things are like $9 a box. And that seems a little expensive for me. So a couple of weeks ago, perhaps like probably a couple of months ago at this point, I want to say I was either watching a Graveyard Girl video or minding my own business scrolling around the internet. And I found these things called micro toy boxes. Um, and these are a series of, I believe there's five toys inside. These are a lot like the, um, the five surprises, but one of the surprises is visible. And I'm interested because there are 50 different ones inside and a lot of them are, they're all licensed. So I'm curious as to, well, most of them are licensed. I'm curious as to what they could be. So we have six of these here. One, two, three, and then four, five, six. Uh, and I'm gonna be opening these up. I have a little Tupperware to put them in that may have had dinner in it at one point, but I don't wanna lose these because these are so small. I do not know if these are in scale. They might be in one sixth scale. They might be a little smaller, I can't tell. But we will start with this one. And the first one on the top has a little cardboard candy land on the top. And I, you know what? I, I'm kidding. It's not cardboard. I believe it's plastic, uh, but it is just a label on a rectangle. There is no actual Candyland game inside to play at this tiny scale, but this is super cute. Um, I just, I've always loved miniatures. So to find that there's like more of these that I can actually go and pick up, I'm very excited. And then we have a sticker. Oh my gosh, and the sticker is a little miniature Barbie doll. A 92 Barbie. Oh my gosh, so it was a totally hair Barbie. That's fantastic. So other, also inside, it looks like there's a, what is, there's another, there's like a little tray inside that I need to remove. This is, these are complicated. What's going on? Okay, so we got the little tray removed. And then we have, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, there's little packages on the inside. Oh, and this becomes a little like stackable toy chest. That's really cute. Okay, so these aren't entirely useless boxes. So inside we have the micro, okay. Oh, okay, so this is a world's smallest brand. And world's smallest is I believe Mattel. So a lot of these are like Mattel, Fisher Price, Hot Wheels, Masters of the Universe. So they're all like vaguely licensed and that's pretty cool. Or not vaguely licensed. Some of them are, some of them are more generic like Teddy Bear, Rocking Horse, Shovel in a Bucket. Uh, but then you've got little My Little Pony. Okay, okay. Now I'm confused because not only do they have Barbie, they have uh, My Little Ponies and G.I. Joes and Transformers, which are very definitively Hasbro. So we'll just, we'll see what's in here. This is, oh, this is just the uh, the Super Impulse catalog of all the stuff they have. God, okay, so I'm pretty sure that these guys used to just make keychains when I was a kid and I had so many, that's a miniature DDR machine? Oh my God, it's a little, it's a little DDR machine that you can play with your fingers. I, so there used to be this store called Polka Dots and Polka Dots was like a little gift shop and they had Beanie Babies, which was the big reason we would go to Polka Dots, but they also had all of these little uh, like keychains and they had like a Magic 8-Ball keychain and a Viewmaster keychain. And I remember loving those. So I think this might, these world's smallest might be an offshoot of that. So each of these has a little bag with a tear strip on the top and oh, okay, so the next one is Monopoly. It's a little Monopoly, not unlike the Candyland. So that's really cute. I do wish they could open, but again, it's working at this small of a scale. How are they, how are they going to? Um, the next one we have is, oh, is this little Lincoln Logs? 
it is a little Lincoln Logs and it does not open. It does not open, but it's like a little, a little thing of Lincoln Logs. That's really cute. These, I wonder, I do wonder what the scale on these are because the scale for the, the um, Zuru 5 surprises varies so wildly. Like some of them are to scale with, with Barbies. Some of them are to scale with Monster High. Some of them are to scale with like American Girl. So who knows? Oh, wow. This is a little like Hot Wheels dragster. And this one is cool because you can see like the back will come off and there's actually a little tiny car inside that you can play with. That's really fun. And then this is the last one from the first package. And we have, rip. This one feels like another square. So we'll see. Oh, it did not rip properly. And this is, Oh, toss across. I do not remember this too well. Don't focus on me, focus on the toss across. There it is, but interesting. Okay, so that's the first package. We got three board games, a toy, a doll. We got three board games, Lincoln Logs and a car. There we go, that's the word I'm looking for. This is the next one. And this is one of the ones, cause so you can see the first one on the top. And this is one I'm stoked for. This is a little, Barbie, and I'm pretty sure this is Malibu Barbie, which is awesome. Yeah, this is in fact Malibu Barbie, 1974. And it's so tiny, you can hear her like rattle around on the inside. Oh, she's so cute. I, so here's something like behind the scenes. I have been working on a video about the history of fashion dolls for probably three years at this point. I am still doing research and I keep getting caught up on things and not being able to proceed because there's just so much information. And one of the things that I've been looking for is to kind of collect some of the um, associated dolls. Like I, I wanted to pick up some of the mid, like the 70s and 80s era Barbies and there, I have not found any. So our sticker is the Rock'em Sock'em Robots Red Robot. And inside we have another four. So let's check out what we got here. This is, ooh, okay. Ooh, this does not feel like a rectangle. So that's a good sign. Uh, we have, oh, what are you? Oh, 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 it's little people. And that's Lucky the dog, it's on a fire truck. Oh, can you, world, will you pick this up please so we can see this? Oh, that's adorable. I wish it it moved around, but that is the, what is this? This is the little people fire truck. Oh, that's so cute. I had so many little people when I was a kid. I remember one of one of the only toys that I still have from like my very early childhood. We have the Little People Castle playset, which is really, really cool. Next up, this is, ooh, I think this is like a Hot Wheels carrying case. That's pretty neat. A shape like a tire. Yeah, Hot Wheels rally case, it says. Interesting. Now, I did not have Hot Wheels. And I'm sad about that because car, like toy cars are really cool. All right, next up we, oh, oh, this is a cute one. This is a very cute one. This is, this is a little like a bucket shovel, like a sand, like you're going down the beach or you're going to play in the sandbox and you've got a little, a shovel and a bucket. That's so cute. I'm trying, what scale is this for? And then the last one in this box, this feels like a bar of soap. What could you possibly be that is bar of soap shaped? <gasps> it's a friggin' yo-yo! It's a Duncan Imperial. Oh, that's the good stuff. I had, I had one almost exactly like this when I was a kid. Uh, but I would, my dad had a Duncan butterfly and I liked working with that one a lot more. So I would do that. I can just do, I can do basic. I can like, I can make a yo-yo go up and down. That's about as close as I get to being cool at yo-yo tricks. Um, if you guys could do cool yo-yo tricks, 
Please let me know in the comments because I am fascinated by yo-yo tricks. Uh, I went to a convention a couple years ago and they had like the world, like the state championship yo-yo people there. And that was fascinating. Uh, next box up, we have My Little Pony and that is Firefly who happens to be my favorite of the G1 ponies from that like that wave. So that we're off to a good start. The first, the sticker is 1977 Barbie, which is the one that we already have. Sorry, is that 1971? Sorry, 1971. That's the year my mom graduated college. So then we've got another four in here. We can check and see what we're going for. Uh, I know, so one of the things I used to do on this channel, and if you guys have been around for a very long time, you might remember it is I used to do blindfold blind box unboxings. And I swear, friends, I have been looking all over for things that I think would be suitable to do a blind box blindfold video. And I can't find a damn thing. This is, oh, this is a little teddy bear. How cute. Look how cute that is so small. Oh, I'm going to bring, I might bring some of these into the office and just leave them randomly on people's desks. This is, oh, okay. We got our first duplicate. It's the fire truck again. That's all right. That's all right. Listen, we're on box three and we're only getting the first dupe. That's fine. We got another rectangle in this one. So let's see if it's another duplicate. And it is, it's Candyland. Oh, that's a bummer. That's kind of a bummer. I was, I was hoping there's 50 of these that maybe we wouldn't get too many dupes. Uh, and this is, ooh. Oh, this is a little Pictionary game box. That's fun. I love, I love Pictionary. Pictionary is awesome. All right, we are on to our next toy. And this is, this is really cool. This is the barrel of monkeys that actually comes with a bag of monkeys that you can't put in the barrel because the barrel is solid. There's no way to open the barrel. Why, what am I gonna do with a plastic baggie full of monkeys? If we were on Twitch, you guys would have clipped that. But we're not. So uh, our sticker is 1971 Barbie again. That's okay. I will find places to put those, I promise. Then we have our four on the inside here. And let's see what we end up with this time. First one, this appears to be a rectangle of some variety. And this is, oh, one we don't have. This is Tip It. It looks like it's another board game. Um, how do I make it so that you guys see this and not my face? Whatever, it's Tip It. I'm not familiar with that. If you if you have any idea, do let me know. Um, oh, I am burning battery on this camera real fast. Then we have, uh, oh, Oh my God, no, 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 come back, come back. It's freaking Uno. I love Uno. I love Uno so much. We used, when I was in high school, uh, we used to play Uno during lunch. And one time, uh, one of the principal, like the vice principals came up to us and asked if we were gambling. And we were like, sir, we're playing Uno. This is, oh, what is this? Kerplunk. We had Kerplunk. Kerplunk was wild. Her plunk was just like, I think was mostly just a vehicle to get kids to buy marbles and that's fine. But like, how do you gamble with Uno? And the last one from this one, oh, it's the little Fisher Price, like the Rolly phone. That's so cute. God, I am, as we know, I am just a sucker for miniatures in general. I think that's the second time I've said this in this video. Box number five and our first one is the Red Ranger from the original Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. So it definitely makes me feel like they know their audience. Um, unless they, did they do, did they do a re-release of Power Rangers figures? I don't know. I was not allowed to watch the Power Rangers when I was a kid because they were for boys. See how stupid that sounds? But that was the truth. That's what it was. I was not allowed to watch Power Rangers because they were for boys and I probably would have loved it, but it doesn't matter. So I have no uh, attachment to Power Rangers or anything like that. Uh, I do love the Ninja Turtles because 
Ninja Turtles rule. What is this sticky thing? I don't know. Okay, box number one, bag number one, bag number one. This is another rectangle. Is this gonna be oh, Candyland for the third time? Womp womp. That's okay. Somebody wanted to they could probably make earrings out of these. I've seen somebody, I've seen people make earrings out of the uh, the five surprise mini brands, and those are very fun. But these might be too small. These might require a bit more effort. That's like solid plastic. This is what is? Oh, it's a little rocking horse. That's a cute one. And if, oh, please let it actually. It actually rocks. Oh, that's so cute. <sighs> Can I say that these are anything other than cute? Probably. Will I? No. Next one is, oh, it's another Barbie. And this is, yes, this is totally hair Barbie from 1992. <sighs> I did not have a totally hair Barbie. I totally wanted a totally hair Barbie, but I did not have one. And then the last one in this, this is the next to last box is, oh, what is this? This is, oh my God, this is, I have to look this up. This is the Mattel electronic basketball. There it is. Wow, this is, this is a throwback. I did not have this, but I think that might actually even be a little bit before my time. Can you believe that there are things before my time? Uh, first up from the last box, we have a duplicate right off the bat and it is the rocking horse, but you know what? I don't care, it's adorable. Then for the next four, oh, our sticker. The sticker is the Hot Wheels, Mick Rick, which I think that's the one that we have. Yeah, that's the one that we got. So that's cool. We got stickers of several, we got stickers of several of the toys that we received. And then we got one, two, three, four. I said four, thank you, four. Uh, so this is, ooh, this is, this feels like it might be another Hot Wheels, but we'll see. I'm hoping we get like a Masters of the Universe. That'd be really cool. Nope, this is, I think this is the same Hot Wheels that we had already. So that's another duplicate. Bummer. That's a bummer. Next one. Ooh, this is round. This is a ball maybe of some kind. Maybe it's a magic eight ball. <gasps> it is, it's a magic eight ball. Now it's not a functioning magic eight ball, but it does in fact have a little prophecy on the back and it says, ask again. That's a cool one. That I I definitely, there's been a video that we've talked about doing about divination based toys, like toys that predict the future and stuff like that, that we have not done. But oh my God, it's a fourth freaking Candyland. Didn't I already get a Candyland out of this box? Whatever. And then the last one, what do we think this is gonna be? I think, I think this is a duplicate already. I think this is the fire truck again. It is. Ah, uh, oh well, I'll be a little, the little people fire truck again. So that is gonna be it, I think. We got, we have a nice little collection of, of our little toys here. Uh, I'll figure out what scale they're in. If they're all in the same scale, they might not be. That I don't think they are, frankly, because I think a lot of the, the board game boxes are a lot smaller scale. Cause like, let's be real, a box of Candyland is not, anywhere near the same scale as a Hot Wheels truck, you know? But that being said, friends, thank you so much for hanging out. Uh, if you'd like to see me do more of the like toy box surprises or the mini brands or anything like that, let me know in the comments down below. I'm gonna be keeping an eye out for some of the mini brands because some of those seem pretty fun. I know that it's basically just like marketing capitalism for kids because they're all licensed brands. And I don't think we should be instilling brand loyalty in little children, but I'm an adult, so I'm allowed to make stupid decisions like that. But thank you so much everybody for hanging out today, for liking, commenting, and subscribing. If you're interested in more unboxing videos, boy, howdy, you're in luck. I've got a whole bunch and I'll link them at the end of this video. Everybody take care, be well, and I will see you in the next video. Later.